Hello everyone, welcome back and in this video, we'll be discussing 7 iPhone settings that you need to disable immediately. These apps either don't respect your privacy or drain your battery life if left unchecked and in some cases they might do both. So if you want to learn how to pull the brakes on these apps, this video is for you. And without further ado, let's get started. Also, if you found this video helpful or informative, please consider hitting that like button, subscribing, and turning on notifications to always be updated whenever I post. Now for starters, the first thing you need to disable is the significant locations feature. The goal of this feature is to track your movement using GPS so that you'd get more relevant advertising and such which is all right, but it can definitely be seen as an invasion of privacy. The constant tracking and storing of personal location data may be concerning if you value your privacy and don't want your movement monitored. Also, this feature can drain your battery life since it constantly uses location services in the background. So to turn it off, go to settings, then privacy, location services, system services, significant locations. You can disable the feature entirely or delete any previously saved data. Now we move on to ad tracking, which is what advertisers use to keep track of what you browse on the internet and collect data about you. But thankfully, there is a feature to limit that. Yet yeah, it's off by default, so we need to turn that on first. Let's head back to the main location services menu then to privacy and finally scroll down to advertising. There you'll see the limit ad tracking feature turned off so you can go ahead and turn that on. And with that your personal information is now more secure. Next up we have iPhone analytics which transmits your data to Apple ultimately draining your battery and potentially violating your privacy. While the data helps Apple improve their product it's best to disable it by navigating to settings privacy, analytics, and toggling off share iPhone analytics. This will also halt data collection on your Apple Watch, which is a neat plus. Also, it's better to turn off everything else in the section. And while you're here, turn off iCloud analytics too, which functions similarly to iPhone analytics, but with iCloud data. Now I move on to push notifications. Changing this feature to fetch means instead of your iPhone oftenly checking for mail and similar notifications, you can set a certain timer for it to check for that, which would help lower your battery consumption. So to switch from push notifications to fetch data, go to settings, mail, accounts, fetch new data, and select fetch instead of push. Currently, I have it set up to 15 minutes, which is what I'd recommend. If you don't need real time emails updates, it's best to disable push and switch your accounts to fetch which can be done on an individual basis. Also, you can always manually check for new emails by opening the mail app, which will prompt a new data refresh. This won't impact your experience at all and it will help your battery last longer. Also, another setting I'd recommend to turn off is background app refresh located under the general menu and settings. This feature lets certain apps download content in the background whether you're using them or not. You can just go through the apps and disable those that you don't really need. Finally, let's turn off some settings in the system services menu you don't really need. Now, the majority of the time, you only really need emergency calls and SOS, finding my phone and share my location if that's a feature that you use enabled. So for starters, I'll disable some features that can drain your battery life, like compass calibration, location-based alerts, and setting time zone. But if you travel frequently, setting a time zone might be useful. You can turn it on temporarily and then turn it off when you're done fixing your time zone. But if you don't travel often, it's just a waste of battery life. Now, don't worry, disabling these won't mean that they're gonna stop working completely, and most of them are just data for Apple. So by turning them off, you'll save battery life with little to no change of the overall experience. So these were all the settings I'd recommend you to disable on your iPhone. Also, if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below as I love interacting with you guys. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next video.